Well, hello everybody, and yeah, we got winds again. How do you like that? Well, I just shut off the air conditioning a while ago, and it's same temperature indoor as it is outdoor. But uh, I only had one of the air conditioners running today because I'm also running the charger for that new LiPo 4 battery. And that's uh, been running all day long. So one thing about this larger size battery is, yeah, it does have great capacity, but it also takes a long time to charge. Now, when I received it, the uh, it only took 10, on, 10 and a half hours to charge it up to full. But because I drained it all the way down to zero yesterday, and you can do that with LifePo 4, you can drain them all the way down and then recharge them back up again. And you could do that with this one, they say 8,000 times. So, well, they say 8,000 times down to 80%, but uh, down to zero, I would probably say 6,000 times. But still, figure that out 6,000 cycles on your battery from full charge down to 80% or 20% left <laughs> that's a, a long time a lo that's a lifetime anyway charger is still running uh, battery is charging it's at like 60% now it says it's going to finish at about 11 p.m. tonight and I put this on charge uh, probably well let's see I think it was probably 6 45 7 a.m. this morning so it said it was going to take 16 hours to charge it from the drain down to zero like I had done. And for those of you who are interested, how long did it run that air conditioner? Well, it ran at 7 hours and 39 minutes. And that is just the battery with no other input on, on the battery. No solar charger, no other types of chargers just the, the battery connected to an old uh, modified sine wave 12 volt to 120 volt inverter and I still got nearly eight hours of running that air conditioner off of that bad that one battery right there now that to me is amazing that is really amazing I love that so, if you want a battery that's going to give you a lot of service, a lot of power, this is the one right here. Now they do make a, a another one that's not a smart edition. Um, it's a uh, same, basically the same thing, but it also it will crank an engine, so you can use it on your boat, and you can use it for one battery for starting the engine and running all of your equipment on the boat so uh, that's a, a new thing that they just came out with so you might want to check that out on their website and you can find their website at whatcycle.com okay whatcycle all one word dot com let's see if it's on here anywhere this is the uh, stats for this battery get that out of the way Of 4,119.2 4, watt hours was available on this, and by my quick math from what I uh, did running that air conditioner on it, I got 4,219. I think it was. So that that's a, a great um, result. That's a lot more than what it's rated at, and that's what you want. If it's rated at uh, 4,119, right there, 4,119.2 watt hours, you want to see that up at 4,200. That's that's where you should be. All right, so battery did pass the load test. I'll, I'll have to tell you that. And uh, we're going to move on to the next thing. That's actually taking the battery out of here when it's fully charged and moving it to its next location but uh, 
that's all going to be for the watt cycle uh, video not for uh, independent um, G bears off grid ways videos I've got to do the review video on this and I've got a lot of work to do on that yet and notice that I am using the watt cycle um, 12 volt 20 amp charger on this battery now I suggest that if you're going to buy a group of these to run on your um, off-grid system or whatever, if you're going to get uh, four of these, when they come, you're going to talk about charging ten and a half hours for each one. So that's going to be over 40 hours to charge your four batteries before you can use them. So using one of these batter battery charges you have to do them one at a time <laughs> that's going to take you quite a while so what I recommend is you also go to whatcycle.com and buy their 30 amp charge controller and hook that up to your solar panels and then charge your independent batteries one at a time using that solar charger at 30 amps instead of 20 amps they'll charge a lot faster and you'll get the job done in, in a fraction of the time so that's my opinion and uh, I think those of you who are going to be moving off grid you got to remember you're not going to have electricity already out there if you're bringing your electricity out there to set up so if you can charge these at home using a regular charger take the 40 hours it takes to put it put four of them together but if you're going to be just buying them and moving off grid you may not have the power out there to charge these using this charger so you'll want to do that through solar and you'll want, want to put like uh, well the system I'm going to be setting up for this guy I'm going to be using uh, three 360 watt panels so that's over a thousand uh, watts of uh, solar power going into a all-in-one charger that all-in-one charger has the charge controller and um, the inverter all built into one and that will speed up his system for charging all the batteries but uh, I want to do it the old-fashioned way so I'm going to bring his batteries here and take four days charging them all up on this watt cycle uh, battery charger and then once I get them all hooked uh, all charged up to their full capacity then I'm going to connect them in series because he's going to have a 48 volt system so I'll, I'll hook, hook them up in series and then I will let them sit and they're going to sit for 24 to 48 hours and why well it's called a balance uh, what happens is the computer that's inside of here that's called a BMS Okay, the computer that's inside of here, um, each battery has its own computer. So once you've got the cells in this one all charged up, the computer in here will balance the individual cells inside the battery so that they're all within a few thousandths of a volt. Well, you want to do that to all four if you're going to be connecting them together. So you have to connect them together and let them sit for 24 to 48 hours so that all of the computers talk to each other, learn a little bit about each other, and then join together and balance everything together in one group. All right. I hope that explanation is uh, good enough for you. So anyway, I'm hunkered down today with the wind, as you saw. And uh, I'm going to call this one a print, get it uploaded. Questions and comments below. I appreciate all of you guys out there that are really supporting my channel. I'm getting close to the 10,000 subscriber mark, and I think I'm going to be able to hit that in the next month or so, because pretty soon I'm only going to need 100 more, and uh, that'll be a good thing. And I'll be doing a video on my stats and how they've come up. But thank you for joining me. This is G-Bear, signing off. Come here, buddy. It's still a little sore, but you're walking a lot better.
That's a good thing.